Madison broadcast booth at Fenway Park in Boston. And uh, Mike Bordick, when you look back at Henry Owens, two straight starts against the Orioles, and he did not give up a run. What does he have that sort of stops the Orioles? Well, he has some great off-speed pitches, and he was throwing them all for strikes. Of course, that changeup is a great swing and miss pitch, and he had command of it. Uh, Orioles tend to struggle when uh, pitchers throw their off-speed pitches for strikes, and especially such a differential. He was throwing his breaking ball and changeup in the low 70s, keeping them all out in front, and he was able to throw up for strikes in fastball counts. He did it the whole ball game. Pretty impressive stuff from the young left-hander. Take a look at this line. Back-to-back -back games against the O's where he's gone seven and two-thirds and shut them down, scattering only three hits today. 110 pitches thrown and 10 punch outs. Really didn't give the Orioles uh, much of an opportunity to get anything going. Uh, kept coming up with big pitches and even when they did get a runner on base, he found a way to get out of the inning. Um, and, the, and that's what they did this whole series against the Orioles offense. Mike, can you make any sense of the of the drought the Orioles have gone through for these three days? I mean, I know they've got some pretty good baseball pitched against them by uh, by Rich Hill, but the next two guys, it was all bullpen basically, is what we were looking at. I don't know where the offense went. I don't know what's happened to them. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, even in the National Series, I mean, as well as they played uh, all the way around, pitching was outstanding, starting pitching especially. Bullpen did a good job with Darren O'Day getting the three saves. They didn't really knock the cover off the ball. They took advantage of the little bit of uh, mistakes that the Nationals gave them, and they hit some home runs. Well, in this series, the long ball wasn't around at all, and uh, the pitching really neutralized the offense. Even when there was a little glimmer of hope, they shut them down, and really the whole staff did. Yesterday was the whole bullpen, of course, Rich Hill, and then today, Owens. Mike, when you look back, the Orioles had only one runner reach third base in the entire three games. I mean, that is really a strange statistic. Yeah, they're not putting much pressure on... Uh the opposing team at all and, and you know what I think some of it may just be their own philosophy it's a it's an aggressive team but I think at times especially against young pitchers like an Owens you got to let him work prove that he can command everything for strikes there was a lot of early soft contact in this ball game and it let Owens really settle in and he felt comfortable and confident throughout the whole ball game I think early on if they may have been taking earlier uh, they may have had a different outcome but uh, they stuck with their aggressive plan and it did not work today and of course you got to remember the shadows make it tough enough well mike as always we appreciate your comments look forward to chatting with you when the birds get back to baltimore when they play the toronto blue jays